Well, there's amazing enthusiasm around Griffin's uh, nation right now. Uh, well, at least internally, it'll be amongst Griffin's nation here shortly once they hear this announcement. That enthusiasm, Tim Gortz McKean, down at 3 o'clock today, the president of the Grand Rapids Griffins here to announce that uh, we're going to play hockey again. Uh, it's official, and that is obviously very, very good news. Yeah, that's huge news, Bob. It's been uh... – we just wrapped up a board call here. It uh, started at 3 o'clock, probably wrapped up around 3.30. Um, during that call, all member teams were asked to declare, you know, are you coming back or not this season? Uh, obviously, it's an abbreviated season, but uh, very proud to say that the Griffins will be back on home ice uh, starting as early as uh, early February. Uh, season that we're looking at for uh, this year, kind of a truncated season from – uh, probably Feb 5 uh, start date, which is a Friday through Sunday, May 16. Um, we'll figure out over the coming days, like exact number of games and opponents and things of that nature. But gosh, we're just excited to be back playing hockey. You know, we look at February, February of 2021 and think about the fact that we stopped playing hockey on March 11 of 2019. That's almost 11 months. That's ten and a half months too long, so we're happy to be back. And there's so much more to come out here, Tim. I know it's a, a work in progress, has been. In fact, you made the comment to me the other day, this has been an exhausting process. Have you ever, ever wonder how passionate Tim Gortzum and everybody else associated with the Griffins is? Hang around the last several months and, and watch the ups and downs emotionally, literally hour to hour. We're going to play, and then an hour later, no, we're not going to play. It has been exhausting, hasn't it? And that just makes today so much more gratifying. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, our normal kind of start time would be early early October. And then we thought, okay, maybe we can get going in early December. And then it's, gosh, maybe we can do it in February. Maybe we can. And, and really, up until this weekend, there was an unknown of whether or not we were going to be able to be back. Um, so, you know, throughout the last several months, I've told some folks internally, it's kind of felt like Groundhog Day. It's same day, just different stuff. And it's, you know, here we go. We get excited. We get bummed out. And um, now we're just happy to have some finality to the simple fact that we'll be back playing hockey. And you're always probably displaying your Steve Eisenman banner over your right shoulder there, Gortz. He had a lot to do with this. The Red Wings organization, the DeVos, the Van Andel families, a lot of people involved in this process. It's been long. Uh, but uh, without those those supporters, uh, this doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, uh, our ownership has been terrific, but the, the wings have been outstanding through this process. And as we looked at coming back and return to play hockey, at least initially, you know, we're, we had to kind of factor in the likelihood that we may be beginning, and, and who knows, we may be this season without fans. Uh, so that creates some financial hurdles, and, and Detroit was terrific in terms of uh, stepping up and working with us to absorb some of those costs to help make this a reality. Um, over the last probably several months, had multiple um, conference calls and Zoom-type meetings like this with Detroit, and uh, Eisman gives me a little bit of grief about seeing the banner over the top of uh, the top of my shoulder. He says he's going to look for try to get a Gortzman one to <laughs> behind him. <laughs> well, it's a it's a give, giveaway item maybe this year, huh? Two yeah, who knows? Maybe. To the first yeah, uh, to the first twenty five fans, because that's <laughs> and that brings me to that next point. It, you know, the enthusiasm is somewhat tempered. Obviously, the uh, the capacity issues are still going to be in place at least early on. Anyway, every state's going to be different, but here in Grand Rapids, uh, as of right now, it'll be very limited capacity. Yeah, that's one of the challenges. Um, you know, hockey is such a great sport, but it's an even better sport in person. I've long felt that, like. Uh, to see it in person, I think you get a much better appreciation for the size of the athletes and the speed and just the ability to quickly change direction. So we're optimistic that at some point we can still welcome fans uh, yet, even in this truncated hockey season. But, you know, if we have to start with no fans, so be it. We're just happy to be back playing hockey. And one thing we'll tell you is uh, HLI will be um, very prominent, no doubt, to our radio broadcast. So there'll be a, a way, obviously, to continue to connect with the team early on and then hopefully, like you say, open up the doors and let them in once again. Tim, this is great news. Obviously, a big, 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 long-awaited day. Uh, congratulations. Great work uh, by yourself and the organization, like you say, the Red Wings and the, the Van Andels and the DeVosses, everybody else involved. Lots more to come. We'll be checking in with Tim Gortz and I know a lot over the next several weeks. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Happy to be back. All right. Happy New Year, Tim. Thank you, sir.